If you or someone you know has asthma, you're likely familiar with the use of a salbutamol inhaler. But have you ever wondered how it actually works or when it's appropriate to use one? The truth is, salbutamol inhalers are an essential tool for managing asthma symptoms and can be life-saving in emergency situations. In this ultimate guide, we'll dive deep into the science behind salbutamol inhalers, exploring how they work to relax the muscles in your airways and help you breathe easier. We'll also discuss when it's appropriate to use a salbutamol inhaler, including how to recognize the signs of an asthma attack and how to properly administer the medication. So whether you're a long-time asthma sufferer or simply looking to learn more about these important medical devices, this guide will provide you with all the information you need to better understand salbutamol inhalers and their role in managing asthma symptoms. How do salbutamol inhalers work? Salbutamol inhalers are a type of bronchodilator medication that work by relaxing the muscles in your airways, allowing you to breathe more easily. Specifically, salbutamol, also known as albuterol, works by binding to beta-2 receptors in the smooth muscles that line your bronchial tubes. When salbutamol binds to these receptors, it causes the muscles to relax, which widens the airways and allows more air to flow through. Salbutamol inhalers are usually inhaled directly into the lungs, which allows the medication to work quickly and effectively. The medication can start working within minutes of inhalation and can last for several hours, depending on the dose and the severity of your symptoms. It's important to note that salbutamol inhalers are not a cure for asthma and should not be used as a long-term treatment option. Instead, they should be used as a rescue medication to quickly relieve symptoms when they occur. Conditions treated by salbutamol inhalers. Salbutamol inhalers are primarily used to treat asthma, a chronic respiratory condition that causes inflammation and narrowing of the airways. Asthma can cause a range of symptoms, including wheezing, coughing, chest tightness, and shortness of breath. Salbutamol inhalers can help relieve these symptoms by relaxing the muscles in the airways and allowing more air to flow through. In addition to asthma, salbutamol inhalers may also be used to treat other respiratory conditions, such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and bronchitis. These conditions can cause similar symptoms to asthma and may benefit from the bronchodilating effects of salbutamol. Types of salbutamol inhalers There are several types of salbutamol inhalers available, including metered dose inhalers, MDIs, and dry powder inhalers, DPIs. MDIs are the most common type of salbutamol inhaler and are designed to deliver a precise dose of medication with each puff. They usually contain a propellant that helps to push the medication into the lungs. DP is, on the other hand, do not require a propellant and rely on your own breath to deliver the medication. They can be a good option for people who have difficulty coordinating their breathing with the use of an MDI. In addition to these two types of inhalers, there are also combination inhalers that contain both salbutamol and another type of medication, such as a corticosteroid. These combination inhalers can be useful for people with moderate to severe asthma who require more than one type of medication to manage their symptoms. How to use a salbutamol inhaler? Using a salbutamol inhaler is relatively simple, but it's important to use it correctly to ensure that you get the full benefit of the medication. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to using a salbutamol inhaler. Remove the cap from the inhaler and shake it well. Hold the inhaler upright with your thumb on the base and your index and middle fingers on the top. Breathe out fully. Place the mouthpiece of the inhaler between your teeth and close your lips around it, making sure not to bite down. Start to breathe in slowly and deeply through your mouth. Press down on the top of the inhaler to release the medication. Continue to breathe in slowly and deeply for 5 to 10 seconds. Hold your breath for 5 to 10 seconds to allow the medication to reach deep into your lungs. Exhale slowly through your nose. It's important to use your salbutamol inhaler exactly as prescribed by your doctor. If you have any questions or concerns about how to use your inhaler, be sure to discuss them with your healthcare provider. Common Side Effects of Salbutamol Inhalers Like all medications, salbutamol inhalers can cause side effects in some people. Common side effects of salbutamol inhalers may include shaking or tremors, headache, nervousness or anxiety, rapid or irregular heartbeat, dry mouth or throat, muscle cramps. Most of these side effects are mild and go away on their own within a few hours. However, if you experience any severe side effects or have concerns about the side effects you're experiencing, be sure to contact your healthcare provider. When to use a salbutamol inhaler. Salbutamol inhalers are typically used as a rescue medication to quickly relieve symptoms when they occur. This may include wheezing, coughing, 
chest tightness, shortness of breath. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's important to use your salbutamol inhaler as soon as possible. This can help prevent your symptoms from worsening and can help you breathe more easily. In addition to using your inhaler as a rescue medication, your healthcare provider may also recommend using it before exercise or other activities that are likely to trigger your asthma symptoms. This can help prevent symptoms from occurring in the first place. Precautions and warnings for salbutamol inhalers. While salbutamol inhalers are generally safe and effective, there are some precautions and warnings you should be aware of. For example, salbutamol inhalers should not be used as a long-term treatment option for asthma. If you have a history of heart disease or high blood pressure, you should use salbutamol inhalers with caution. Salbutamol inhalers may interact with certain medications, so be sure to tell your healthcare provider about all the medications you're taking. If you experience any severe or unusual side effects, be sure to contact your healthcare provider immediately. It's also important to keep your salbutamol inhaler with you at all times, especially if you're at risk of having an asthma attack. This can help ensure that you're able to quickly and effectively treat your symptoms if they occur. Salbutamol inhalers versus other asthma medications. While salbutamol inhalers are an important tool for managing asthma symptoms, they are not the only type of medication available. Other types of asthma medications include corticosteroids, leukotriene modifiers, and long-acting beta agonists. Corticosteroids are a type of anti-inflammatory medication that can help reduce inflammation in the airways and prevent asthma symptoms from occurring. Leukotriene modifiers work by blocking the action of leukotrienes, which are chemicals that can cause inflammation in the airways. Long-acting beta agonists work similarly to salbutamol inhalers, but they last longer and are used as a maintenance medication rather than a rescue medication. Your healthcare provider may recommend one or more of these medications based on the severity of your symptoms and your individual needs. FAQs about salbutamol inhalers. Can salbutamol inhalers be used to treat COPD? Yes, salbutamol inhalers can be used to treat COPD, as well as other respiratory conditions that cause similar symptoms. Can salbutamol inhalers cause weight gain? No, salbutamol inhalers are not known to cause weight gain. Can salbutamol inhalers be used during pregnancy? Salbutamol inhalers are generally considered safe to use during pregnancy, but you should talk to your healthcare provider before using any medication during pregnancy. Can salbutamol inhalers be used by children? Yes, salbutamol inhalers can be used by children, but the dose may need to be adjusted based on their age and weight. How often can I use my salbutamol inhaler? You should only use your salbutamol inhaler as directed by your healthcare provider. Overuse can lead to side effects and may indicate that your asthma is not well controlled. Conclusion. Salbutamol inhalers are a vital tool for managing asthma symptoms and can be life-saving in emergency situations. By understanding how they work and when to use them, you can ensure that you're prepared to quickly and effectively treat your symptoms if they occur. If you have any questions or concerns about salbutamol inhalers or your asthma treatment, be sure to talk to your healthcare provider. Thanks for watching.